Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use LX5VN for monobus TCP communication. I will divide it into two parts. Part 1 will introduce how to use the PLC as the model bus TCP client. And the part 2 will explain how to use it as a model bus TCP server. When we use the PLC as model bus TCP client, first we should set the IP address of the PLC. Second, we should enable the SNET configuration. Set the socket ID, choose TCP communication protocol and the client mode. Set the target IP and port. The port number is set to 502 for internal mode bus TCP usage. Third, we set the parameters for communication, such as the monobus function code, start address, length, and so on. Fourth, we use the SOC OPEN instruction to create a socket connection. After the steps above, we can use the SOC MTCP instruction for monobus TCP connection. As you can see, the PLC is reading and writing the value of bit and word addresses from the model bus slave simulator. Let's move on to the second part, where the PLC acts as a model bus TCP server. In this case, we only need to set the IP address of PLC. The PLC defaults to opening two connections and supports a maximum of eight connections. Afterward, we can use model bus port to read and write the PLC addresses.
For the specific PLC model bus address mapping table, please refer to the Wicom Support Center.